Hey guys, so yesterday I was getting out there with my good buddy Ben and uh, we caught a couple trout. I mean, we went fishing, but we only kept a couple trout. And uh, pretty much, I wanted to try a recipe on trout ceviche. And let me tell you what, I did not fail. The recipe is amazing. And I'm going to show you how I made it uh, right here. So stay tuned. And thanks for watching Beaner Outdoors. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe to my channel. And if you have already, I appreciate the support. Uh, thank you so much for everything y'all do. And uh, y'all take care and keep getting out there. Alright, so what we're gonna do just cut them into smaller bite size pieces because this is already split in half. I'm just gonna cut straight across. This stuff right here, it tastes exactly the same as a squeezed lime, in my opinion. Um, you don't have to buy lime, go through all the all the mess, all the hassle and stuff. Just buy this stuff. You can get it at Kroger, that's where I got mine. Do not buy this stuff. This stuff's a little cheaper. It doesn't taste like lime at all, in my opinion. It is just really tart. So what we're going to do now is we're just literally going to douse this whole entire thing into that. And I got two just in case. But I think one's going to do it. So literally one whole bottle of that for a trout, like a whole trout. That's two fillets that's in here that I've diced up and cut. And so next we're going to put it in the, uh, in the refrigerator. So it's going to go into the refrigerator here. So it's going in the refrigerator. We're going to let that sit in the fridge for about 45 minutes. So we got our sweet potato. We're going to peel it right now. All right. So now we got it here. We're going to dice it up into little cubes right about now. All right. So now that we've got this all cubed up, I'm going to take these, transfer them over to the water. Bring your water to a boil. While that's going on, now we're going to do the other processing steps. Um, cutting up our onions, doing all that good stuff. One pepper. Pow! Right there. Put it in the bowl. One small tomato. Bam! Boom! Alrighty. Now we're going to go to just a little bit of the onion, not the whole onion, so we'll get it here in just a second. And when I say just a second, I mean in. Got those. And now we have some sweet onions. And next we're going to do a red onion. And let's do two seconds this time. One 1,000, two 1,000. Some red onions. This next one's gonna take me a while, so I'm gonna really have to bust my to get all these things in there. I mean, whew, man, that was a workout. I better check my poles. Next, we're gonna do two avocados, just because I probably won't use all avocado, but I will eat both of them. And I love avocado. So we'll get them all skinned out here in a second. And bada boom. And we got our chopped up avocado. All right, so next what we're going to do is we've got these boiled. They're soft, still a little firm. And 
put that right there. All right, so we're gonna put them in the fridge for a little bit and mix everything in with them and let it sit for probably about 30 minutes in the fridge. That way it cools down and the process continues to go. I put it that way, then I turn it. Cut it up really fine and really good. It uh it really releases that flavor of the cilantro. Alright, so I've got everything in here and what I did. So the trout's still sitting in the fridge, it's in the lime, it's cooking in the lime juice. So what I did, I got my I put my sweet potatoes that I uh, chopped up into cubes first, put it in there, and then I did some onion, uh, the sweet Vidalia onion, a little bit of red, red onion, the pepper. As you can see, I didn't put it all in there uh, because I want to really enjoy that, not that oniony taste. And then I put my corn, uh, the cilantro, um, some salt and pepper in there for flavor. Last, I like to have a little bit of a kick. So, I mean, it's not, I mean, you don't have a ton of it. But if I can get it to come out. Plus, you got to remember, this is going to be sitting in the fridge, so it's going to be absorbing. Each, each thing is going to be absorbing other flavors from the other things that you've put in here. So you got this whole mix. You got that sweet potato. It really brings it together with that sweetness, but also with the pepper. So we got all of that. Now what I'm going to do is put that there and put some lime in it, mix it in with it. I put about probably not quite half a bottle in there, about the equivalent of a whole lime. I'm just going to cover it with some tin foil and let it sit in the fridge for 30 minutes and just let it cool and as it's cooling it's really going to take the flavor of everything else in the fridge along on top of the other trout flavor but you can already see this trout is really cooking in that lime juice you can see that orange is gone almost but you can definitely smell the lime juice in there so we're gonna wait 20 minutes. We'll mix together and wait in our tin. And while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up a lot of my dishes that I dirty because I can hear Morgan getting home and going, I just cleaned all of this. And so, yeah, I'm gonna clean before or so. While that's while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna clean, get everything good. Alrighty, so we got them back out of the uh, fridge. Um, just because this bowl is a little smaller, I'm gonna dump everything into this. It smells absolutely amazing. So I think it is gonna be. All right? And then I'm just actually gonna reach in, try to drain a little bit off. That way not all the lime juice goes in there because, well, the fish has absorbed most of the lime juice, so do that. And then put in the avocado at the end. There we go. Oh man. That right there. That right there is incredible.
But also I got these, so I use it as a dip. Um, not really a dip, but just kind of as that bread part. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take it to the living room and watch, watch some TV. And I'll meet you in there, see how it is. This is absolutely incredible. I'm going to dig into this, but um, thank you all for support on this channel. I hope this recipe, those of y'all who like uh, trout ceviche or like ceviche, Try this one out. It's got to be fresh. But you can do this with any kind of firm fish. Uh, just let it soak in that, that lime juice. You can really taste the lime in the fish, but you don't taste it in the other stuff and the vegetables and everything else that you've mixed with it. It's absolutely amazing. These are really good with it. So y'all get out there. If you want to try, give it a try. It's not expensive. To make and uh, I hope y'all can make this I hope this helps you out and I hope you enjoy this those of y'all are sushi lovers or ceviche lovers definitely gotta try this out this is really good so until next time I'm Andy Bean like subscribe um, to this channel if you haven't already and thanks for the support if you have so again I'm Andy Bean with Bean Row Outdoors you guys get out there we gone